Hi, I'm Taylor Neville with Entertainment Tonight Online. I'm here at the In Time premiere with Justin Timberlake and Olivia Wilde. Ahoy Panthers, Taylor here. I'm on the prowl to unwrap some of the coolest classes at Chapman. So zip up those life vests cause we're going sailing. OC foodies are celebrating their lunch break with the latest culinary cuisine here at the food truck fair in Costa Mesa. And I'm in the spirit as well with this old fashioned grilled cheese. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Sometimes it's tiresome and tough to make it to the finish line, but when we walk together as one, we can conquer it all. I'm Taylor Neville reporting for Chapman News. I checked the jail register and it appears the suspect has been booked into the King County Jail. Eyewitnesses say the suspect was seen drinking at a bar near here and then left. He allegedly assaulted two men inside their motor home. He then hunkered down in that motor home to confront police. Every two seconds, someone is in need of blood. Today, the Delta Gamma sorority has teamed up with the Red Cross to give Chapman University students an opportunity to save a life. It's a college trip all kids count down to until they're 21, but Vegas is way more than drinks, gambling, and clubs. Let's go check it out. I was told that dodging pickpocketers was just a part of traveling abroad, but at the same time I thought, nah, that won't happen to me. Well, while I've made London my home for the past two months, I was given a reality check when I was pickpocketed here in Piccadilly Circus. Now remember, pickpocketers don't wear a disguise. They blend into the scene. So just keep in mind that a bit of caution can go that long way and prevent the loss. Joining me in the park room today is Mr. Sandro Giuliano, who is the hotel's food and beverage manager, and he also knows quite a bit about this English tradition. Thank you for joining me. You're very welcome. I know that you are a jack of all trades. <laughs> you are a stylist, this creative girl, you have so many things going for you, but now you're interested in party planning and you're launching this yes. new business. So I really want to know, let's just jump right into it. <laughs> okay. I really want to know how did you get interested in this? Have you known your whole life that it was something you wanted to do? Okay. Which one should I try? Well, we'll start the holidays. I think you're the pumpkin. Okay, I'll try, try. I'll try it. Oh, wow. Bake Actually, like it's really good. <laughs> Parker, you made a darn good cookie. Yes, good does. job, man. Yeah. Despite his arrest, Colton Harris Moore's online following is getting even stronger, especially on a Facebook page dedicated to the young man's story. Ever since the Supreme Court agreed to take up Obamacare, scholars have been weighing in on the outcome. Two of Chapman's top lawyers offered their opinions on Thursday. But as Nicole Chenoweth reports, even a betting man might want to sit this one out. You never miss an episode of The X Factor, The Sing-Off, or American Idol? Well, The CW is plotting another one. Looking to add a little flavor to your academic schedule? Well, I found a course that will definitely put the winds in your sails. Check it out. Our day in Orange would not be complete without a stop at Bruxy. Their take on waffles is unlike anything you've ever had. Bruxy is a new take on the authentic Belgian waffle and has quickly become one of the most popular eats in Old Town Orange. The Bruxy sandwich is made to order in both savory and sweet varieties, including barbecue pulled pork, prosciutto and eggs, caramelized apples, and even strawberry cheesecake. Today, I'm about to bite into their signature buttermilk fried chicken waffle. Our number one bestseller is probably our buttermilk fried chicken and waffle. Um, it's awesome. It's a boneless chicken breast. We pound it thinly, soak it in a buttermilk brine. It's got some cider slaw and some chili honey on it. It's, it's fantastic. Thanks for watching OC on a Dime. We'll see you next time. We're learning more details from investigators of the story of a man who was arrested after a high speed chase last week and on Monday was charged with the murders of his girlfriend and her two sons. Meanwhile, investigators have been scouring the Brea landfill for the two young boys. All of this while the suspect made his first appearance in court. 31-year-old Cesar Fernando Limas is charged for the stabbing deaths of his girlfriend Arlette Contreras and their two young boys. Investigators have said that Limas killed them on April 14th at their apartment on Chapman Avenue in Orange.
While the body of Arlette Contreras was found on April 25th and identified on May 4th, the search for the couple's children, two-year-old Fernando and four-month-year-old Emmanuel, is still underway. We don't know where the boys are. Um, we have spoken with the suspect. He has talked to investigators. So our only logical uh, area to search right now is that landfill. And the reason why, if you live in that apartment complex and you throw your trash in the dumpster, that trash ultimately ends up at the Bray landfill. Renaissance resident Sean Azizian says the community is stunned by the horrible recent events. They're, they're definitely angry, shocked, especially the two kids. That was, that hit home. Limas is charged with special circumstances murder and could face the death penalty. The suspect is being held without bail and the arraignment will continue on May 23rd. Reporting live for Chapman News, I'm Taylor Neville. SoCal beaches are in ocean lovers paradise. Come along as we dip our toes in some of my favorite beaches. Located below the Ritz-Carlton, Salt Creek Beach is for the surfers, bodyboarders, and wave jumpers. You can grab a bite to eat at the snack shack while enjoying the gorgeous landscape and the sound of the crashing waves. Second on my list that you just can't miss, Aliso Creek Beach is an easily accessible sandy beach just off PCH. It offers an interactive beach scene with a playground, fire pits, and tide pools for the whole family to explore. The third beach we recommend might take a thousand steps to get to, but it's the best beach to escape the loud crowds of beachgoers. Surrounded by cliffs, natural cave formations, wildflowers, and tide pools, it's a secluded and serene beach great for winding down. I hope we inspired you to catch some fun in the sun. I'm Taylor Neville for Chapman News.